Today, I'm going to introduce you about the multisensory experience digital fabric library, which I designed. And let's start. There are three basic functions of this library. The first one is all items. All fabric can be found in this interface, and designers can also find the fabric they want uh, more quickly through the search function and the fabric classifications. And the next function is your plate. In this function, designers can add pre-selected fabric to this plate, and designers can directly share the said fabric plate to other colleagues in the company, which can greatly speed up the work efficiency. The last function is compare. Designers can add different fabric to this board for comparison, and then they can see the difference between fabrics clearly, like this example. Anytime designers can directly click the logo and come back to the home page. So now let's go to the fabric information page. And firstly, I use a length scale to show the size of the fabric pattern. Then I describe some basic information of the fabrics, such as the weight, width, thickness, and compositions. And there are some other color recommendations. And I would like to show the performance characteristic of the fabric in the form of grade classifications like this, because I think this method is more intuitive. And next is the virtual touch experiment part. In this touch panel, viewers can follow the touch gestures in the right side and touch the touch area. Using different gestures will trigger different vibration feedback and the picture of the touch area also change with different touch behavior. And then, the next part is the elasticity display. And you can see that, in the left part, I placed a video of fabric elastic demonstration simulated by cloth 3 software. And in the right side, I tried to fix one end of the physical fabric as a starting point of the length skill and then pull the fabric hard in the opposite direction to pull the fabric to the maximum length. Through this way, designers can visually see the strength of this fabric. And the next part is a 3D display. I try to show the drip and the different forms and the final effect of the fabric on garment and also the fabric details through 3D visualization. And if designers are interested, they can also scan the QR code on the right side. After scanning the QR code, designers can see the fabric in 3D forms on their phones in their environment where they are. And designers can achieve AI interaction through their phone, not just limited to static fabric display. As shown in this picture, designers can use their fingers to perform different gestures on their mobile phone screen. They can able to observe the elastic of fabric by pulling down the fabric, as well as sweeping left and right to observe the fabric model at different angles. And they can also observe the fabric details by zooming in and out with two fingers. I think this way can better enhance the interface experience of the viewers compared with the traditional static area AI display. And then, and then I give the effect of the fabric under four different light sources. In this way, the panel can show the color difference of the fabric under different light sources to the greatest extent and reduce the designer's concern when choosing this fabric. And next, this page will show the fabric in the form of a video, through which many characteristics of the fabric can be shown most directly, such as the thickness of the fabric and the resilience and can hear the sound made when rubbing the fabric. And the last part is other recommendations. According to the fabric characteristics, five different fabric will be recommended to the viewers. And that's all about my multisensory experience digital fabric library design. Thank you.